Talking about bottom two, Italy versus England. <laughs> Jeez, Italy, guys, how, Italy, how, Italy, how, Italy, how, how, Italy. How close? Did how, you just say England's going to finish? No, I never said that. How close? Let me was, finish the question. How it's close did Italy come there for upset? But also, their defence was impressive for me. Yeah, you know, so so I I, I liked it. What the it England defence or the, Italy? Yeah. the Italian? The Italian defence. But also the attack. They asked some good questions yes. though, against a defence that looked yeah. uncertain. English defence that looked uncertain. Like this. Did they deserve more from that game, the Italians? I think so. Yeah. Oh, look, I mean, they're still quality players, and that's the thing that stood out with the English side. Like, they, they managed to scrap a win, and they'll go, listen here, yeah, that's a good start. Yeah, but if, I always see, like, if you've got a coaching regime, so you've got you know, Steve Borth, you go last year, we know that they're going to go back to basics, mechanical stuff, scrum, try and sort your scrum <coughs> up. More mechanical thing, breakdown mechanical thing. Kicking game and defense. Mm. That's the basics you get right. Last year they played to their strength. Yeah. Best defense at the World Cup, best kicking game in the World Cup. So this year we go, we all think, okay, Felix Jones is going across there. Sorry, this was my, maybe I was just not in the loop, but I thought, okay, what a great job did he do with our Springbok attack over from 2018 till 2023. And we all have massive respect for Felix, his work ethic, high, high coaches the attack. All of a sudden, he pops up on screen as defense coach and he's copying a Bok style of defense. Then you look at the, the highlights clips, there's one a horror a horror clip, obviously, with the, the, the Tommaso Alun's try where, mm. you know, five guys on the blinds, three guys by the ruck, two passes, take out 12. Tommaso Alun. Toma Thomas Allen. <laughs> Thomas Allen. <laughs> yeah. He's related to John Allen. Yeah. <laughs> Who played for the they take, they take But a, you said an Italian accent. Second pass takes out 12. by the way. 12. <laughs> he said we oui, oui, that's French. <laughs> second pass yes, takes, yes. Second pass <laughs> takes <laughs> out 12 English defenders and they've got a four on one with Elliot Daly. You know, yeah. so like... First clip, same, you know, Chisholm is on his own, yeah. on his own, Mission. you know, it's a tip pass from Gabrisi to put Canoni through the hole. Yeah. But like he comes from five out, Just Lewis, Spur, up, yeah. Lewis Spur, Joe Marler in no man's land and, and they score the try off it. So there's a lot of work in that defensive system because that was, that but was it does, there. It does it, beg the question. So, so England, uh, you know, the question? And, if, and everything that, beg the question. <laughs> And everything that that Skulk has mentioned going to now, um, it, uh, England starts new this year. They see what Felix has done yeah, with yeah. the box. You know, yeah. you employ him, but you employ him for something totally different. So, on what basis do you get a guy like that if he's going to fulfil a role that you haven't seen him? Or, or is it based on what he did when he was still at Munster? Or what he's learned there. Or maybe he wants to change roles. Yes. So, so like, it, I mean, it, it, uh, we've all seen one. Felix and his work ethic, so no doubt he's going to... He'll fix it. He, he'll yeah. fix it. But, I mean, it, it is at the international level, doesn't matter who you play, that's a hard place to go through a transition. And it just seems that that English coaching staff lacks a hard transition. It can be simpler. Did England deliver on their promise of being more attacking? I think Jamie George said that. They tried. Look, it, it was a, a completely different side to what we saw. I mean, you just you just yeah. alluded to that, to the World Cup. But a different Italy side as well, yeah. to the yeah. one that got smashed by a New Zealand kind of thing. But does new, that worry you? Would you be worried? Do you think Kusada? that Italy Kusada, yeah. you're almost lost by 90-something points? Well, they did, to New Zealand. To New Zealand. Yeah. And England... Should have well, remember we, yeah, like, I, is, is, I still don't know how they lost against us. Yeah. Am I overthinking it? Maybe the fact that you know New Zealand gave them one by. Can you remember we had that lovely dinner on the beach the night that Italy played? Yeah. Uh, New Zealand. Hundred percent. And remember, our boys kept it. our boys kept on running from yeah. inside with uh, we were Brian O'Banner. Oh, Brian uh, yeah. in Toulon. In Toulon. Yeah. yeah. And the boys just came out running every time there was a try, and we're like, yeah. no ways. Yeah. Good old days. So does it work? It, like, what was the question? <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> I'm listening to Skull Pritz. Um, <laughs> Six Nations was this week. <laughs> and he played England. Okay, are you with me now? <laughs> okay. So do you think from an England point of view that it, it's good enough for a, a team of England's... Look, not talking down the Italians, though, but I mean, Italy were all over them in the first half. Yeah. yeah but, uh, but All uh, over them. I, I think it is important understanding the way that the opposition played. Um, you know, so credit to Italy for it. I think, again, England found a way to win in the World Cup. They found Different, a way yeah. to v very 
almost beating yeah. South Africa in the semi-final. Yeah. They found a way to win on the weekend again. And I think that's based on the experience that they have within the squad, having a Jamie George and, and a George Ford and, and other experienced guys there. And the performance itself wasn't a good one. Yeah. But they will now go and look at it and say, okay, this is where we want to go. We want to change things and this is where we want to end up in two, three, four years' time. How do we get there? This is the way we play in the weekend. How far are we off? What do we need to change? And go about it in a, um, you know, in a, in a structured way. So just to look at the performance as a whole, no, yeah. they'd never be. No, no team well, would be. I think, I think, yeah. I think There's the, room for improvement. Yeah. The, the main, <laughs> Lots the of it. The main, the main threat for them and you know, implementing a new style of defence. And look, I thought their line speed was... A, big step up in the World Cup already from what it was yeah. prior to the World Cup. Yeah. And now it's gone another level up, although it's a bit disjointed. It's like you play Ireland with that style of defence. It is a big, big risk. And yeah. we see it when we play them and we're the best in the world as Springboks defending that way. How many times we get cut short? How many times that flat face ball over the top catches our wingers biting in too early? How much space they're able yeah, to unlock? Cross so, kicks when you take it wide. Cross kicks yeah. when they take it wide. John, you just used to intercept the ball there. I mean, to, why not? Do, why, 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 why do you have to do this? Why? why tackle? Yeah. Why yeah. tackle? Just intercept yeah, the, prob the problem is yeah. if Oli Chisholm starts going for the <laughs> intercept. Yeah. You know, you, you know your defence is not working. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, England had um, five debutants in the team. I thought, OK, let, let's... Um, Roots, the, the blind side flank. Yeah, he was man of the match. He, yeah, yeah, good. Like he, he carried hard, eh? a yeah. proper carrier. You look at Courtney Law's obviously not playing international rugby. He needed yeah. a and he's a he was a big he was a big part of that that um, yeah. England. Yeah, I haven't seen much of, of their twelve who played Dingwall. Was it Dingwall? Yeah, Dingwall. Um, Freeman is it Freeman the wing the yes. right wing? Yeah, set, set, up for me. set up a beautiful try. Yeah, yeah. yeah set up Elias. It's a big Stadies boy, try. big big boy also. So big, big Northampton influence there now, yeah. you know, as well. Um, Alex Mitchell at nine. Yes. Um, He's a nice player. Finn Smith at 10 that came on last yeah. eight minutes or so. So, you know, Northampton's been very successful in in the premiership. And now, um, you know, you see the players coming coming through in the England squad. So, Like Alex Mitchell looks so good when it's up-tempo. Yeah. He's not afraid to take the little quick tap and break from, from the base. Um, almost you know, similar to like a Gibson Park, you know, he's, he's just the best in the world at getting the ball out the rock, Gibson yeah. Park. You know, there can be bodies in, he's in there and the ball's gone, which is really a standout to his game. And uh, Beno looking good also, I must say, he was the one player that in the World Cup. In the, he was in the, the best player at the World Cup. Yeah, right? I thought he was, yeah. And, and led, led the stats, you know, he was, he was breaking records left, right and centre for that English side, carries and tackles and line breaks and offloads. And yeah, I, I played with him at Saracens for a long time, you know, when he was coming through as a junior and he's a proper talented player.